what do you do when you feel completely overwhelmed by all the activities you need to do at this point in the semester? Watch this very short video and implement these three tips that I have for you. All right, so I'm gonna dive right in because I know that you are super busy and don't have time for a long video. So the first tip I have for you is to create a grading tracker. And so you can do this on paper or you can do this digitally and I'll show you examples of each. But in a nutshell, you're gonna create some kind of diagram or chart where a certain number of students are connected to one piece of that chart. So for example, you might have, usually I have 30 students per class. So I create six boxes that each represent five students. So for every assignment I have left to grade, I create a box system. And as I grade them, I just either write an X or I color in the box that represents five students and five more students and five more students have been graded for this assignment. So it's easy to see on paper and helps you de-stress because you know you're not missing anything because you know, well, here's everything I need to grade and here's my tracking of my progress. So first tip, create a grading tracker. Now, if you're still a grad student while teaching, then my second tip is to create an assignment timeline. So for all the coursework you have left, create just one master timeline where you go through the dates and times each assignment is due. So again, you'll have that on one sheet of paper so you don't have to worry about checking everybody's syllabus or their LMS websites or your planner. You have it all written down on one page. If you're not still on coursework there, though, I would still suggest making a timeline of responsibilities that are still due at this point in the semester. So that might be committee meetings, it might be responsibilities to your students or student meetings. Whatever it is that's left for you to do, go ahead and write it down. And my third tip, and again, this might not work for everybody, but I still suggest trying it out, is creating work playlists. So you can use Spotify or Apple Music or whatever the case may be, but basically create a playlist for different types of work you do. So maybe, for example, when you're doing writing, you need just some kind of low classical music to kind of give you some background noise, but nothing too distracting. Or maybe you need, you know, really pump up music in order to get your grading done, right? So create a list of, you know, hip hop and rap music and reggaeton to get you going. Whatever the case may be, create music to help you, you know, stay on the right track and make progress. So you're not just sitting in silence worrying about what you should be doing next. And then as my final bonus tip, this might be just be a quirk of mine, but I like having an object to ground me when I'm feeling you know, worried or overwhelmed or stressed. And so it can be obviously anything you want. For example, what I'm currently using is this ring. Let's see if you can see that. Maybe it will. So I can just touch it or kind of move it around my finger when I'm feeling worried or stressed. And I kind of just take some deep breathing and calm down and then go back to getting my work done. So if you have a bracelet or a necklace or whatever the case may be, you know, a little stone, marble, some kind of object that you look at and you think, okay, I can do this, just take a second and get back to work. So that's my final tip for this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, remember that I offer teaching tips, tools, and resources for college instructors, as well as more general tips for grad school and academic life. I'll see you next week. So like I said, very, very short, because I know you need to get back to work. But if you plan on using any of these or you already do, I would appreciate you let me know by clicking that thumbs up button. Or if you have any of your own suggestions for end of semester activities, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. I would love to have some new tips. So like I said, very, very short, because I know you need to get back to work. But if you plan on using any of these or you already do, I would appreciate you let me know by clicking that thumbs up button. Or if you have any of your own suggestions for end of semester activities, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. I would love to have some new tips.